Hey guys, what up here and welcome back to NASCAR the game 2013 highlight challenges or whatever it's called um, Part number 10 we reached double digits um, I was just looking at the previous challenges and just seeing what's coming up and Obviously we got Sonoma today and that might be the only thing we'll do just because I know the Mon, Mon Pablo Montoya challenge is gonna be difficult so um, Yeah Maybe it won't be. I don't know. But I know that will take a considerable amount of time. So there's really not a whole lot else to dive into. But what we can always dive into first is my tier 2 Patreon people and my YouTube members who support channel. First, you get our early access to videos before the videos comes out and all that stuff. Like this one. Usually 12 or 24 hours in advance. Sometimes even more if I'm that insane. But yeah. Thank you nonetheless. I appreciate it as always and, and all that. Thank you. Let's get into Sonoma. We're going to read this description says, think outside the oval at Sonoma and take part in the first road course race of the Sprint Cup. It should be of the Sprint Cup season, but whatever. Uh, drive through the field with Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer. Save some fuel with Juan Pablo Montoya. Then break a losing streak as Martin Shrex Jr. And none of those are in the proper order. That's, um, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. Have they always been in order? Probably not, but that's me being nitpicky. But anyways, we'll do a Jeff Gordon one called Mr. Sonoma. After taking four fresh tires during his last pit stop, Jeff Gordon made a big push through the field. Can you relive this by reaching to at least fourth place by the end of lap 97? Remember when tires used to matter at Sonoma? Now with the next gen car, it's just taking tires is a detriment. So yeah, good times. Good times uh, to win the Gen 6 was good on road courses the gen 6 and gen 7 are kind of like an inverse of each other and it's weird it's just it's just strange but yeah let's do it let's get gore in the dub and and, and all that stuff reach fourth position by in lap 97 did it even say how many laps we even need to do i don't know we do get the telemetry which at a road course like this i feel like that's gonna be just really difficult okay we get essentially three laps so it's not the There's worst thing in the world. I'm just going to follow my Jeff Gordon AI ghost as I kind of botch the corner. Hello, Get Kurt. Inside. Yeah, just got to get used to yeah. going on the road course. It's a, it's a, I'm doing this kind of cold turkey, no practice. Bar three back. Kind of, especially at a track like this, uh, going into a blind, just, just a little, little rusty. Jeff Gordon goes to the inside just like he did in real life. Look at that spot. Beautiful, simple, straightforward. Now we just have to find a, a site to pass Harvick. Especially with, like I was trying to say, with the telemetry and the road course. I feel like this is going to make making passes so much harder. And it probably will. Good run for me. We'll see the inside. Down shift, down shift again. And are we clear of Harvick? No, I'm not. I mean, I was, but it just ran me off. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Yep. I'm glad that I, I just got punished for just passing him because the telemetry is bullshit. So that's, a, that's wonderful. That was an unconventional pass around Greg Biffle. I want to point that out because that's not how it was supposed to go. Send it here. Cleared Harvick. Good run through the corner. Beautiful. All right, we don't got to worry about him. A scandalous freaking bast. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, that. And we got a time penalty. Thank you, game. I'm glad. I'm glad I got, again, punished for that innocent crime that I did of just trying to pass a race car. We'll make the pass on Harvick again. He seems to not break through here good enough. Well, we just <laughs> doored in Ambrose, but fuck it. We did it. We need a half a second gap on him, too, because oh, that's high penalties, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have to find a way around Edwards, and that's gonna be a pain. It's just, again, so much harder than it needs to be because I need to do it exactly how Gordon did in order to complete the challenge. And I'm just very impatient and just want to pass people the way I want to. But I can't. Well, I guess I can, but it's just going to make it a lot harder. And, well, this is indeed a pass. I just knocked the, the freaking tires. Give me room, Edwards. 
Wow, he gets a really good run off the last corner. Okay, that's duly noted. Well, that's going to make making that pass going into last corner that much harder if they're just going to get an amazing exit. Because it's not good enough for me to be clear. I need to be, like, extra clear of them. This might be the only corner where I can actually kind of be aggressive. Didn't really work. I, wow, okay, it did work. That was a very late pass. I didn't think that was going to happen, but I'll take it. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be ahead of the time penalty, and we'll be good to win this challenge. Thank God. There we go off the last corner. No promise for Edwards running into me or whatever. So, that's good. We did what we needed to do. It was a bit unconventional how we made those passes, but I will take it. Next up, breaking the losing streak. Lap 40, and Martin Truex Jr. is sitting in third place. Can you pass Casey Kane and Brad Kozlowski by the end of lap 41 and help end NASCAR's longest losing streak? I don't think it was the longest losing streak. Well, I guess it was, I guess, in most recent memory. I don't know what the, what is the longest losing streak? I don't know. I guess, like, the longest gap in between a first, like, I guess, I guess of wins. Is Strex maybe the biggest? I don't, I thought Bill Elliott might have been the biggest, but then again, Seven years from 1994 to 2001 is a much smaller gap compared to like five or six years of Truex's because they run more races now than they did back then. So I don't know, but we'll do it. We'll do what we need to do. I'm just talking way too much. I right, let let's get into it. Lead by the end of lap 41. How many laps do we even have? Telling us that would be very very helpful. Okay, just two laps. I guess they saved all the passing stuff for this, cha for I guess this pack in just in particular, because God Almighty, making passes with this is just so incredibly tedious. Because I don't know when to make the pass. Again, I guess I was just supposed to know. Lap 40, the exact lane. Uh, do you remember that? Do you remember lap 40 when Harry Gant made a pass on a lap car? Yeah, I, you know, yeah, shame on you. Shame on you that you didn't know that, that stat from 1992. Shame on you. But yeah, we got by Kane. That's because our AI ghost made that pass, so it gave me an opening. But we might have to wait the same way. We might just have to just race the AI ghost. I don't know. It's boring. It's it's just it's just straight up boring to just follow what the ghost does. Watch your ear. This game is such a metaphor for just following a, the, the narrow path and never deviate and never do anything. I guess be a corporate shill. What? <laughs> That's deep. Wow, he got him. My ghost car got a massive run through that final corner. That made no sense. Don't I just like wheel hop? That was weird. Well, there goes any chance we had. Well, no, oh, oh, no. Yep, there goes our chances. Yep, thanks. Thanks to the magical wheel hop that we almost never get in that particular corner. But in that particular corner today, it wanted to be a problem. Why do I even bother trying to, like, pass there? Like, there was just no fucking point of it. There, we're doing exactly like what my ghost did. Is that good game? Am I a good boy now? Yep. My my ghost car just gets magical speed off the last corner. No explanation. But hey, we just have to follow him and see how he makes the pass on Brad. and Go from there. Is it here? Is this where my ghost car does it? Yep. Yeah, he does. He pokes his nose in there. Alright, yay, we did it. We had to basically have the ghost car baby us and, like, hold our hand through it, but we did it. Off the last corner, no AI is going to give us a problem. We're actually ahead of our ghost car, which is good. We got hood damage, or roof damage, that's even weirder, but we did it. Hooray. Two more to go.